So guys, today is just one of those days, you know, I normally have those diary moments where I feel like I don't want to be talking to anyone. Uh, I'm just basically talking to myself, but I'm allowing you into my deepest, uh, most sensitive thoughts right <laughs> i just feel like you know what at this point in time i really do not have any uh, words of wisdom to share with anybody because i'm feeling very sensitive right now you know <laughs> um the one thing that i didn't expect when i found my purpose was the fact that i'm going to struggle <laughs> you know i thought struggles you know, as for those people who are still seeking their purpose, but once you have your purpose, once you know what your purpose is, once you have that calling, right, and you answer to the calling, I mean, everything will be smooth sailing because, hey, you are doing God's work. He is doing things through you, so things should be easy. I mean, he is the owner of the universe. He opens doors that are closed. He shuts doors that no man can ever open right so he makes way that where there's no way so i just didn't expect to struggle in my <laughs> journey of purpose but sure guys yo i don't know whether it's this time of the year as well i'm just getting exhausted <laughs> or what's going on but you know i found myself you know sitting and asking myself but god is this really you did you really speak to me? Did you really call me to do this? Or is this just a wild idea that I had for myself and somehow I made it uh, sound like it's from you? I believed it as if it's from you. <laughs> you know how I've been struggling, guys. Sure, I, 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 I tell you. I've got a new level of respect for people who start things from the ground up. <laughs> hey, you know, there's this boy in Atridgeville. I normally talk about him. I normally share your, your, uh, I mean, his posts on my, my, my feeds, right? Especially on Facebook. His name is Patrick Caliber. Basically, it's Caliber Music, right? He's a singer from Atridgeville. I mean, ever since I've known that guy, him and his brothers are this a musical group. And, you know, they've been trying to push to get themselves out there in the commercial world, right? He just wants to make it as a singer. And he has held on to that dream until today. I see now, you know, it seems like Twani, Pretoria is starting to really get the sense of who Caliber music is, right? And I'm trying hard to also get him to the spaces where I am, the little spaces that I can enter into just to tell people that, you know, here's this guy who's doing this and this and that. Him and his brothers, I mean, they are good, they are passionate, they are dedicated, right? And the reason why I'm doing that right now is because I'm starting to appreciate the work that goes in, not just the singing. You know, the singing is the most easiest part for him, right? Because he's a singer, he's talented. That's what God gave him. For me, talking is not the problem. Sitting here and having a message and sharing it, that's not the problem. But the problem is the work that needs to happen on the inside of you that will make you stand up and show up no matter what happens, no matter how your last gig was, to come back and show face and still bring the same energy that people expect of you as if you are a machine, right? So guys, there's a whole lot of work that is needed on the inside. That's why I'm so passionate about the internal environment because more and more God is showing me how important anything that he's going to give you is to the internal environment or rather the internal environment is very important to any purpose or calling that God will give anybody on this earth. So Yo, really guys, yo, I, like today, I just, I, I don't know, I just want to rent and rave, I don't know what to call it. 
<laughs> I just need a friend today. Uh, guys, it's not easy. It's not easy to pick yourself up every time. You know, the first time you'll say, okay, I'll pick myself up. The second time you'll say, okay, no, I'm coming back stronger than yesterday. The third time, the sixth time, the, the hundredth time. <laughs> then it's like, hey, whoa, uh, 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 this can't be God anymore. Huh? Guys, you know, I had conversations, you know, I, that's a space that, you know, more than what I'm doing here on a daily basis, what I'm doing here on a daily basis I don't take it as something that is for me, right? But conversation somehow, I don't know, it does something for me. Uh, conversa I'm, I'm at my, my, my comfort zone when I'm on conversations, getting to know people better. I love being in, in the company of people, really. I love hearing people's stories. I get motivated by the little things that people do. You know, where you will think, ah, I mean, really, yeah, that's just, I mean, that's what I do. For me, it's so, it's such motivation because I know that we tend to, you know, under is undermine the things that God has given us, right? You think that everybody does it only to find that actually there's that special thing that you do so easily that other people would never do. So I enjoy that space so much. But this year, yo guys, this is the second year of conversations. Last year was, it had its challenges, but it was working. I enjoyed myself in conversations. This year, God was taking it to an, an, another level. You know, I remember there's a month that I didn't do conversations. And not because I was busy, guys, because I was just, I, like, I, I, my internal environment didn't work well for me <laughs> to be able to put my heart and soul into it again. I just told myself, I'm not doing this thing again because clearly this is not from God. That's what I said in that month and I stopped doing conversations. After four weeks, I thought to myself, but no, as clear as God was when he gave me the vision about conversations, I need him to be that clear in order for me to quit. I haven't had anything from God that, that suggests that I'm actually doing my own thing. He didn't send me to do those conversations. So I have, I don't have any leg to stand on to quit, right? But how things are happening, guys, if it's not the reception, then it's ESCOM. If it's not ESCOM, then I can't locate my, my guests. Oh, guys, like it has been such a challenge, right? And I mean, last week, Friday, we were having another conversation and it just ended like that. I got cut off the conversation. I couldn't go back in. I mean, for 30 minutes, I tried to go back in. I couldn't. I mean, that was the last straw for me. <laughs> I took every, it took everything in me to come back and do those conversations after that month, of, after that, those four weeks of doing nothing with regards to conversations. It took everything that was in me to come back again and say, I'm doing this. And even since then, since coming back, it has never been easy. Like, it has been an uphill climb. And last week, Friday, guys, when I was with Mr. Sizwe, Skosana, I just thought to myself, no, Lord. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm also a human being. <laughs> Can we just talk about this? Are these conversations from you, Lord? You know, and God has been quiet this whole weekend, right? Guys, I've been praying about it. I've been, you know meditating on it and God was just quiet and I remember hearing a, a sermon by Joel Austin where he said when God is quiet continue doing the last thing that he told you to do <laughs> yeah so guys I thought I should share my frustrations I sure I thought I should share the sensitivity of my heart right now my soul is just very sensitive at the moment please pray for me <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say so we have we had a conversation again yesterday right <laughs> 
yeah just pray for me that's all i'm going to say uh, i am hoping to have another conversation to close off the november series of the uh, conversations with pulamans so yeah just pray for me guys it is not easy for somebody to start something from scratch it takes a lot of emotional uh, growth that is oh there's so much that is needed emotionally that at times we just do not have but we just have to show face you know <laughs> i tell you according to last week's conversation to me this year i would have stopped I would just stop and not do conversations again this year. I'll say, you know what? It was tough. Let's see again the next year. But God has been quiet. I asked of him. I mean, the whole weekend I was meditating, ask, trying to find an answer from God. And he was quiet. And I remembered if God is quiet, then continue doing the last thing that he said you must do. And that is conversations. So just because it's from God doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It doesn't mean it's you are not going to get disappointed. You will do everything in your power to get things right. But things will just happen that are outside your control. But that reflect bad on you at the end, <laughs> at the end of the day. Right? It reflects it bad on me all the time. It's, it seems like I always have excuses when it comes to these conversations. Right? Why can I get not get it right? I mean, I do these things every Friday. So what's the what's the problem, right? So I just wanted to say, even now, guys, I have to have peace with the fact that I don't even have the answer. But I need to trust the process that even though it is this difficult and I don't understand why, but the God who put me here has a plan for my life. That's all that I'm hanging on to. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, when you feel like you don't understand, you, you've been trying your best, you know, to be the servant of God that God expects you to be, but things are just not gelling. They're just not coming together. We hold on to the fact that we know God said something to us. We know that he had a vision and we know that in every step of this difficult road that we are traveling he is with us because he promised never to leave nor forsake us that's all we can hang on to so as i'm hanging on to that weight i just wanted to encourage you as well to hang on to the promises of god he is right in the middle of that situation i am Pilamans, your inner peace and purpose coach